Hey Artland, happy Earth Day today. Now, Earth Day is celebrating 50 years of being recognized. And I think that is really cool, and I think it comes at a really good time to recognize this and celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how to do an Earth Day surprise fold. Now, to start off with this, we're going to take our paper and we need to fold it in half. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm just going to fold it in half like I'm making a birthday card. Then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it down like this. I'm going to fold the first flap down to the fold. Now this way I can open up my surprise fold like this or I can turn it this way and I can open up my surprise fold like that. Either way. Now, I'm just going to have my paper like this so I can open up my fold this way. Now, since it's Earth Day, what I want to do is I want to make an Earth-inspired surprise fold. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a heart shape on here. So I'm going to start in about the middle of my paper, and I'm going to start right about here, and I'm going to make a line that's going to curve up, and then it's going to come down to here. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down. I'm going to go right over this fold, and I'm going to come right to there by the end of my paper. So it's just kind of like a big hook shape. Now I want to do the same thing over here, and I want to try to make it as close to the size as I can. If it's not exactly the same, that's okay. Just try your best. So I'm going to just kind of draw that same big hook kind of curve shape and I'm just going to come down right to here like this. So I've got my little heart shape right here. Now what I want to do is I want to make this look like it's planet Earth and I'm just gonna make this really really simple. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna make North America. So I'm just gonna make kind of like some squiggly lines like this and kind of make them go down like that. This doesn't have to be perfect or anything, just kind of play around with it. And I'm just going to make a little line like this. I'm going to come down here, make a little bump for Florida. And I'm just going to make a little squiggly line like this. Then right here I'm just going to draw a little line. And then right here I'm just going to make a little shape for South America. Add a little line over here. And I'm just keeping this very, very simple. Now over here, I'm going to draw Russia and Europe and everything, so we're going to make just a couple squiggly lines over here. Draw some lines down here, kind of make Africa down here. Make a little shape right around here. And then we'll just draw a little line over here. Then I'm just, just going to add another little shape or two up here. And then just a couple more over here. Okay, so we have our little cartoon drawing of Earth as a heart. Now, like I said, this doesn't have to look just like this. You guys can make it however you want to. You can make it even simpler. You could add extra details, whatever. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up so I have the full drawing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw these lines down a little bit. So right here I'm going to draw this line down and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to draw these lines up a little bit. So I'm going to draw this one up and this one up. Make this a little bit higher. And then I'm also going to draw these little shapes up just a little bit and I'm going to make these come down a little bit. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I keep this thing folded, I want to be able to see the earth. But when I open it up and I add everything on the inside, I don't want to see any of these extra lines or have any of my little drawings inside of here pop through. So that's why I draw these lines. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this sideways and I'm just going to make a line that just goes straight down like this. And then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes straight across right here, just so we can kind of have our little heart shape. So now when I close it, and let me get Miami out of the way. So now when I close it, I have my little earth heart, and then when I open it up, I have my 
little heart kind of cut in half. So what we're going to do now is I want to fill this up with little animals because it is Earth Day. Now, I'm going to keep these animals very simple and very cartoony. And we're just going to kind of put a few different ones in here. And I'm going to kind of stick with some endangered animals because those are some of the animals that we really need to protect right now. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make a little panda over here. So to start off with this, I'm just going to draw kind of like an oval shape like this for the head. So I just want to make a nice oval. Then I'm going to draw two big ovals right inside of here. And then I'm going to add just a little oval for a nose. I'm going to add two small circles in here. And then I'm just going to make a little line that curves up and then another one just kind of goes down and up. And then I'm just going to add a little curved line over here and another one right here. And then I'm going to add another one inside just so we can have the inside of the panda's ear. Then I'm just going to add a line that's just going to kind of curve out and then it's going to come back here. And then another one right here that's going to do the same thing. And then I'm just going to add a little line that's just going to kind of go up and down right here. Now over here I want to add a tiger. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start off by drawing a nice big oval shape. Then I'm going to, this time, add two circles in here. Then I'm going to add another little circle inside of here and then I'm just going to color in the outside. Just so we can make it kind of cartoony looking. Then I'm going to just kind of color in a little oval for a nose. Then I'm going to add a little line that curves down and up and another one that curves down and up. And then I'm just going to add a little line like this for a mouth. And then up here for the ears, I'm just going to make a little line that curves around on each side. Then I want to add a few stripes. So I'm just going to make a couple little triangle shapes over on this side and then a couple over here. Then I'm going to make a big triangle shape down here. And I'm going to put a couple little triangle shapes on each side of it. And then right here I'm going to do the same thing, just draw a little arm that kind of comes out. And then I'm going to add another little arm over here and then a line that just comes down. And then I'm going to add a few little triangle shapes on here for some stripes. And then a couple over here too. And I'm also going to add just a couple little whiskers on our tiger. Now, the next one I want to do is I want to draw a koala up here because after all those fires in Australia, koalas have become very, very threatened. So I'm going to do kind of the same thing, just to make a nice big oval shape right here. Then I'm going to add two little dots right in here for eyes. I'm just going to color in a little bit of them. Then I'm going to add a big nose or big oval shape right there in the center. I'm going to make a little smiley mouth underneath it. And then to draw the ears, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up. And then I'm just going to make it kind of wavy on each side just because koalas have those really, really furry ears. 
And then I'm just going to add a big kind of curved line right inside of here. And then I'm just going to add a little line that just kind of curves up and down here. And then one that kind of curves up and down right there. And then a little line that goes down. It's just going to come to here. Another one that goes down and just goes right to there. I'm going to add a little curved line right here for the belly of our koala. Now, over here, I'm going to draw a little wolf because there are a lot of wolves that are on the endangered species list. So, starting right here, I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then come down like this. And then on the ends, I'm going to make a couple little pointy lines, just because wolves have those really furry faces. And then I'm going to add a big curved line right here. Then I'm going to draw two really pointy ears on each side, kind of like curved triangles. Then I'm going to add two little eyes, and I'm going to color in most of them, just leave a little bit white. Then for the nose, I'm just going to color in a little black oval right there. Then I'm going to add a little line that just curves up and down, just like this on each side. And I'm going to make a little open mouth right here. Then I'm going to add a little bit of detail on here. So I'm going to make a little line that just kind of curves down to the nose. And another one that just kind of goes up and down like this. Then I'm going to draw just the same thing. Little arms coming out like this. And then a little arm that just kind of comes out like that. Then I'm going to add a little curved line just for the stomach of the wolf. I'll add a little line right here. And then over here, I'm just going to add a little line that just kind of curves out and comes back for the tail of the wolf. And then we'll add a little zigzag line on top of it. Now, over here, I want to draw a little bald eagle because bald eagles are definitely on the endangered species list. Even though they are the symbol of the United States, they are very, very endangered. So we want to make sure that we are taking care of them. So up here, I'm going to draw a little eagle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curves up and that's just going to kind of curve back down to here. And then right here, I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of makes a little zigzag line across. Then I'm going to add the eyes. So I'm going to just color in a little bit of a black dot here and a little bit of a black dot there. Then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down and then up like a big V. Then right here, I'm going to add a line that goes up. And then when I come down, I'm going to make some little zigzag lines for the wings. And then same thing over here, just to make a few little zigzag lines. And then just draw a line to here. And I'm just going to draw a line right in there. And then right on top, I'm just going to add a couple little zigzag lines. Now, right up here in the center of here, I'm going to add a little sea turtle because sea turtles are also on the endangered species list. So we're kind of running out of room, so I'm just going to keep it kind of small up here. So I'm going to just draw kind of like another little oval shape right in here. Kind of fit it in best you can. 
Then I'm going to just kind of do the same thing, add the little dots for the eyes. Then right here, I'm going to make a little line that just kind of curves up and down. And then I'm going to make two little lines right there for the nose of our sea turtle. Then right here, I'm just going to draw two little lines that curve down. And then one more that goes straight down, and then one that kind of curves across for their little plated stomach. Then right here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve up, and then it's just going to come down. And then I'm just going to do the same thing over here. Then I'm just going to put a couple little bumps right on the end of each one. And then finally, right down here in this little empty spot, I'm going to put a little tiny penguin face. So, starting right here, I'm just going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve up. And that's just going to go down right on there. Then I'm going to add just two little black dots. I'm going to put a small little oval shape right in there. And then I'm going to make a little line right here that curves right down, and another one that curves up to here. And then when I fold this, I want to make sure that I have enough room. And because I do, I'm just going to add a little line right here, and a little line that kind of goes up and down right there. So it looks like these little flippers are holding onto the edge. And when you close it, it should be all covered up. And here is our little picture of our heart-shaped earth with a bunch of animals inside. Now, there's little things you could do. You could always kind of add little paws onto the animals if you wanted to, just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. You can kind of do this to things like the tiger. You could do it to the wolf, too. Just kind of add a little circle and put some little dots around it for the little paws. You could do something like this. You could add little extra circles inside the ears if you want to. I might go over here and just add a little tail for the tiger coming out, then just add a few little stripes onto it. So there's lots of different things you guys can do. You could add more animals in here, you could put less animals, you could do whatever you want to. But here is our picture. So when we have it folded up, we have our little heart-shaped earth, and then when we open it up, we have all of our animals inside of it. And there you go. There is your picture. I hope you guys have a good Earth Day and to remember that it is up to you guys to take care of this planet and the animals. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.